Hello friends and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite arias. It's from Le Nota di Figaro, which means The Marriage of Figaro, and that's by Mozart. It's a really wonderful opera. It's long and it's funny, but it is long. In this aria, the countess is mourning that her husband has been cheating on her and she really has a lot of emotions about that. It's She's upset, she loves him still. The translation, um, let me pull that up. Oh love, give me some remedy for my sorrow, for my sighs. Either give me back my darling, or at least let me die. That's the whole thing. <laughs> Which you would think it's hard to make like a two minute song out of that, but she actually does, and Mozart wrote that for her. Why do we care about this? Why is this something that matters? It's a good question. So let's, uh, let's check it out. I've got the music in front of me, and I'm just gonna go through it. So it's actually really interesting because you get to the middle of it, and she, uh, she kind of goes, let me die, and the, the line of the music just slowly raises until it kind of sounds like a, a scream for help, like a cry for help. And it's a really beautifully written aria. But why does this matter to us? The opera continues by having the countess work with a few of her servants to trick the count into making a making a move on her in disguise as another woman. So <laughs> she ends up tricking her husband. But basically, the point is for us, I think, that feel your emotions, feel your pain, but then it's time to be proactive. So obviously in her time, it's a little bit different, right? Because divorce wasn't as accepted and even though the Countess is not a good guy and he apologizes at the end, but he's not really a good person, she can't really leave him. Um, so she has to do something different. She has to take a different turn. But I think that for us, instead of trying to say, okay, if your man cheats on you, just take action. That's not the point. The point is when something bad happens to you, the best way, as far as like a breakup, I think, the best way to get over it after having mourned the situation is to sit back and decide what you're gonna do next. Make plans. Because being proactive is always the best solution, at least in my opinion, as somebody who likes to get going and do things, I think it makes a big difference. So, Por de Amor is like an introduction to her pain, but because it continues forward, the show continues forward, and by the end, she's actually resolved everything by her own actions, that's the best thing of all. So check out the music video that's following this, and please subscribe to my channel, subscribe to my blog, like the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Love you guys. Bye.